I'm the guy you see on the highway tugging a tiny A-liner. It's usually the smallest trailer in the campsite, but the one that gets the most attention. In today's episode, I'm going to explore three of my favorite things as I journey to Arizona. Driving, camping, and baseball. I'll also offer some insights on my stay at a KOA campsite for the first time, as well as lessons learned from my travels in my tiny A-liner. Welcome to Have Map, Will Travel. The journey to Arizona began on Sunday morning in Orange County, California. Final destination, Apache Junction, KOA just east of Mesa. The goal of the trip was to get a little rest and relaxation and enjoy a professional baseball game in Scottsdale. We headed east on Interstate 10 and most of the drive was desert. Thankfully, traveling in February meant mild weather and open roadway since most people were heading west as their weekend ended. One of the advantage of my flexible work schedule is being able to travel and camp during the weekdays. Less traffic on the freeways and campsites. Pulling my A-liner was a breeze. My tow vehicle, a 2019 Honda Passport, has a towing capacity of 3,500 pounds. The dry weight of my Ranger 10 out of the factory was 1,519 pounds with a tongue weight of 226 pounds. The trailer's low profile and 13 foot length allows me to pull it without a sway bar. There were strong winds near Palm Springs, but the A-liner handled well. The total drive time was 8 hours due to a quick breakfast stop at Denny's and a bathroom break at an Arizona rest stop. From driveway to campsite, it was 405 miles. The longest trip so far and the first time I've traveled outside of California with my A-liner. As I mentioned earlier, this was my first time camping at KOA, located in Apache Junction, approximately 35 miles east of Phoenix off US 60. I was greeted kindly by helpful staff and escorted to Campsite D, big enough for the A-liner on one side and my tow vehicle on the other. Setting up camp was quick and easy. Once my vehicle was level and secure, I popped it open and unpacked the gear. My site offered fresh water and 30 amp electrical hookups, which were on the passenger side of the trailer but my water hose and electrical cord were long enough to reach. And just like that, we were set up. No fuss, no muss. A walking tour of the rest of the campsite was in order to stretch our legs and see the different types of RVs. There were Class A's, Class C's, diesel pushers, tiny teardrop trailers, fifth wheels, and trailers of various sizes. No A-liners, but we did meet someone who had a Rockwood A-frame trailer. There are also four small cabins and a special area for tent campers. The KOA also offered a swimming pool, hot tub, laundromat, a small general store, ice maker, and restrooms that included shower facilities. I must say that the restrooms and showers were very clean. Yes, everything was A-OK -okay at Apache Junction KOA, and I would recommend my friends to stay here. During this trip, I realized that I didn't use any items in the camping and kitchen gear bins. We had meals in Scottsdale and we didn't cook anything at the campsite. All that was required was boiling water in the electric kettle and the use of a toaster for the light meals that we did have. It's good information for future trips as traveling light keeps the weight of the trailer and tow vehicle light, which means better gas mileage. I averaged about 19 miles to the gallon on this trip, another good reason for owning a tiny A-liner. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you found this video helpful. 
If so, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. More videos to follow as I venture through the highways and interstates in my tiny A-liner. Yeah.